I definitely forgot to put this in the video at the start, so I'm just editing it in now, um, but I'm gonna leave links in the description below down there uh, to old summer summons for me for Noarian and um, Ulyssian summer. A lot of you did not see these since it was so long ago, but I'm gonna put them there. Enjoy. I think there were a lot of frustration. I remember swearing and I remember being really upset, so uh, I hope you enjoy the summoning sessions even though you're not gonna get a new one from me this time. Uh, here you go, back into the video. Hey everyone, Mango7Roll here. How we doing today? Uh, we did get these summer banners again and I want to talk about it. There's a couple things that actually really surprised me about this. We've got the Norian Summer and the Ulyssian Summer coming back here. And I want to talk about these banners, um, whether or not you should pull on them, how to use the units, and um, more importantly, the fact that we got them both at once. Um, that's what kind of surprises me here. If we go into our calendar, I'm not sure how far we've got to scroll back for this calendar. Uh, it's probably going to be a while. I probably should have had this sorted up ahead of time. Um, but to me, it seems really, really, really odd that they're giving us both of these maps at the same time, or both of these banners at the same time. I thought for sure there was going to be one of these banners during the first summer and one of them during the second. So we'd see... Um, Noarian first and then we'd see the other one second. I forget what their name is Because uh, as you can see here on the 10th So in 15 days from now we have another special hero summoning event coming up um, Everybody kind of assumed and thought it was summer and I do still think it is summer, but I think it's worth uh, Mentioning or thinking about the fact that they didn't put one on each summer banner um, So so this may mean there's a reason they didn't put one here and one on the 10th and that reason might not be it might not fit with the theme which means the summer banner won't be the same style as summer banner or something weird like that just thought i'd mention that you never know just in case uh better better off mention it than just letting it go by and having the banner on the 10th be something completely weird um alternatively they could be doing this because they want to drain the hell out of us before this legendary banner uh which they're doing pretty successfully so I want to talk about these units here, maybe uh, whether or not you should pull for them. Uh, first off, we have Leo in the top right here, and unless you are like in love with Leo, do not touch this guy with anything. He is just one of the worst tomes, one of the worst seasonals. If we take a look at my Leo here, um, I did my best to use him, but he just like, obviously I'm missing an A slot still. Uh, I just gave up on him. Like, I, I tried and I tried and I tried. I tried to make him useful. And I tried to think about builds that might work with him. But his stats are just so unbelievably bad. And yeah, he's got Fortress Res, which is why his attack is so low right now. But I was just memeing and trying to figure out if I could get kills with Iceberg or something. And just nothing really worked. He's just not a good unit. And unless you love the guy to death, definitely skip him. Um, we also have Elise here. And Elise um, does share a color uh, with Xander. So let's look at Elise and Xander at the same time here. First off is Xander. And Xander is one of my favorite units to date. I just love the guy. Um, he's unfortunately a lot worse with dragons around. But before dragons, he was fantastic. And I think after dragons, he's also great. Uh, so if there's ever a place where um, you just want some bulky melees that don't need to tank tomes, then Xander is in a really good spot. Um, I bring him in almost every single arena assault. He handles basically anything that's melee. Like he'll handle all the um, all the greens and all the blues, no problem. He'll also get some offensive kills on some tomes or some archers. And not to mention, he comes with infantry pulse, one of the most sought after C skills, I believe. Um, I have it just built with a Lilith floaty. I built uh, boosted up his defense really, really, really high. I also think this is minus res. So if you want. You can probably build your Xander mix bulk um, and, and be able to tank the dragons better. I just I just was memeing and it turned out to work pretty well, so I just went with it. Um, as for Elise here, uh, she's kind of lost a lot of her spunk, I guess is the word. Uh, that's definitely not the word. Um, she lost a lot of her usefulness. Her Hibiscus Tome is probably one of the worst seasonal weapons. I just don't enjoy it. It's not very good. It's definitely not good. On somebody with the same stat spread as Nino. Like you wouldn't give that weapon to Nino. So I gave mine just a regular Grom Blade. I'm not happy um, taking away her tome and I'm not happy spending 20,000 feathers to make her the same or worse than my Nino. Actually worse than my Nino because of IVs. Um, the good part is she does come with green tome valor so there's that. And as you can see um, 
I, I have not invested in her. The summer banner last year was probably the biggest bust for me in terms of uh, units I did not use. So keep that in mind. She's going to be about the same as a Nino. And the longer we get into the game, the less useful somebody like Elise does uh, turn out to be. And she does take an insane amount of investment. You're not going to keep one of her skills, I don't think, outside of Green Tome Valor if you want that. And finally, we have Corrin, and Corrin's kind of in the same boat. She's a fantastic unit, and she is the second or third best Blade Tomer now. I'm not sure which one. Definitely the best blue, I believe. Um, can we find mine here? Here we go. And this is mine. And as you can see, another unit I just barely use. Um, I do have Sea Life Tome here, which I don't want to take away because the animation is why I like her. Um, ideally, you'll probably have a Ground Blade or something like that there. And I just use mine to kill swords at this point, and it does work pretty well, especially with Hone. Um, so yeah, she's another one that's definitely worth pulling for. She does work with Sea Life Tome, which kind of gives you an idea of how good she actually is. And, um, yeah, she doesn't share a color, so that's fantastic here. So for the first Noarian Summer Banner here, I would for sure stay away from red. Um, I actually really like green because Xander is so great, Infantry Pulse is so great. Um, he's not actually the best, but he's a solid unit that you'll use in AA, I guess that's how I should phrase that. And Corrin is somebody, if you're looking for a blue tome on a Flyer Emblem team, there really isn't many alternatives. I guess it's her and Morgan, and that's about it. Um, so yeah, it's an okay batter, but with what we think is coming up in the future, I would definitely steer clear of this and just do your redeem. Um, next up, we have the Elysian Summer Banner, and I do like this one a lot better than the other one. Um, so to start off with, let's go with the colorless here, and I unfortunately don't have one of the two colorless. And either way, you should probably steer clear of this. Um, we have Gaius, who I've built like this, and he's just not the best. I wanted to use his Refreshing Bolt because it's better than the other weapons, but it's still not very good. Um, yeah, as you can see, I I've tried and tried to make him okay, but he just doesn't compare to a lot of other archers, unfortunately. Uh, the good part with... Um, uh, I, oh, I guess I can't show him. I was going to show you my Frederick, but Frederick is the only unit I don't have for seasonals uh, outside of the ones that are currently on here. Frederick is also not the best unit. He's kind of built like a Sizo. Um, so unless you really want somebody specific like that, he's really your husband or something, I would definitely skip him too. Uh, but the other two, Tiki and Robin, are some of my two favorite units to use in Arena Assault. Um, and I have them just built so terribly, but they work out so well even in... Um, plus 10 against plus 10 armors and plus 10 dragons. So this is how I have my Tiki built here. I just use the Melon Crusher with plus defense. I think this might actually be a plus defense Tiki as well. Um, the weapon skill or the, the special could definitely change, but basically she's just here to bait a Noe, to bait a Fey, to bait any um, green armor she can even take, any blue armors, basically any sort of physical slash magical melee unit she's here for. And she will counter them just fine in Arena Assault, even plus 10s, even at plus 0. I love this unit so much, and she's just one of my favorite to bring in, and she never proves me wrong. The only thing you need to be careful about is if you're against a really fast Fey, she will die. So you need to not go against really fast Fey's and get doubles, because you will probably die from that. Um, but as it is, it's fantastic, and again, this can change to something else. Um, I like double close defense, it's way better, but close defense is such a sought-after seal. Uh, that you really need to be selective on where that goes. And next up, finally here, we have Summer... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is she? I can't find her. Is she up here? Oh, I think I just blessed her. Yeah, there we go. I, I definitely blessed a couple extra people recently. And this is somebody I use all the time against stuff like Ira, against stuff like Zelgius. She does survive. I think it is plus HP, though. Um... All I'd use this for is sword breaker counters and sometimes um, other blue targets or red targets I want to take, but definitely I just bring her in um, to do sword breaker and that's literally it. And it works out perfectly. Um, if I could go back in time, I would change the speed refine to defense or um, resistance and just say screw speed whatsoever with my arena assault unit and just um, use her as a sword breaker counter. As you can see, I still have Lance Valor because I use her for that more than anything, and she honestly doesn't need anything else. I've got HP Defense too, and um, yeah, just a just very, very, very simple Arena Assault counters is what I use these summer units for, and uh, without too much investment. I've actually think I've done a video on a couple of these units, uh, how to actually build them if you want to go 
um, higher investment if you want to go higher um, uh, merge. But uh, you know the drill, right? So, like, if they're speedy, give them life and death. Give them fury. Give them um, brazen attack defense. Give them whatever and just go to town. Um, Tiki is so wonderful uh, when she's heavily invested in. She gets so bulky. Um, yeah, and that's about all I wanted to talk about today. Whether or not you should pull, and I don't think you should. Um, I think all of these are skippable, especially if you haven't had them for the last year. Like, I would be super sad without my Xander. And um, Xander, Tiki, and Robin are the three I use, like, nine out of ten times compared to the others, just to give you an idea. And if you watch the stream, you will see me bring them out basically every arena assault, so you've seen them in use as well. Uh, I use Gaius every now and then just against Flyers, but he always lets me down. And I use Korn um, in BHBs and GHBs, and that's about it. I try to use Leo, and I get let down hard, so... Yeah, uh, that's about all I wanted to talk about. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. And have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.